that is a big giant thing. Over two feet tall. He's like almost 26 inches, a little under. Here are some Zords everyone's familiar with. We've got Imaginex Dragon Zord, Sir Proterra. Here's Pyramidus. American Ninja Steel Megazord, Dino Charge. Megaforce over here. Ninja over here. He can't even stand on Pyramidus, he's too big. Imaginex is the only Megazord that's bigger. Here's the Pterodactyl Battle Zord with Pink Ranger. Also comes with a putty. So this comes out like that. And then the other half of the wing is back here and that just snaps together like that. And then you've got the Pterodactyl. There's really not a whole lot going on on the back of the box. I'll take that. The putty thing actually has posable arms. That's it. There actually is a little bit of detail molded in there in her little cockpit. Kimberly sits in there. Here's the Triceratops Battle Zord with Blue Ranger. Like that. Comes with two missiles and the figure. Not much going on on the back of the box here. Blue Ranger sits in the cockpit, which is located in the head. Really digging the cockpit. So there's a little window there for him to see out of. Very cool. Fold up his tail and then just shoot the missile. Just stick your finger in there and it launches. Here we've got the Sabertooth Battle Zord with Yellow Ranger. Comes out like that. You'll have to cut these, of course. I already did it. And then Yellow Ranger. Eh. This, of course, looks like a window. Uh, Trini actually sits back here on the toy. And we've got Mastodon Battle Zord. And as we all know, Mastodons had eight legs, and they did get it right. Count them, one, two, three, four times two, eight legs. They got all eight of them. I was worried that they'd only give them like four for something like the show did. But no, they got it right, all eight legs. I'm kidding, of course. I don't know why he has eight legs. <laughs> but that's not a spider web. It's, it's a thing. I, I really don't know. It's nice and rubbery. You can take your not the spider web and put it on your not the spider mastodon. And then, uh, choop. A little hard to see, but Zach is sitting in there inside his mastodon head. I can look at the toys and kind of imagine them in the movie. And I think they're going to look pretty cool in the movie based on what the toys look like. The toys themselves, I kind of have mixed feelings about. I actually really love them like this in their dino modes. Uh, the T-Rex is actually really cool. It looks more like a T-Rex than our original uh, T-Rex dinosaur, which kind of stood up right, sort of more humanoid, rather than, uh, you know, more like you would see in Jurassic Park. This looks more like a Tyrannosaurus. They all look pretty cool, but Mastodon raises some questions with the, uh, not the spider web. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the, the additional legs. Triceratops, did they ever have it right? I mean, he used to be a tank, so he never got proper legs at any point in his life. All right, let's see if I remember how to combine these without having to look at instructions. The thing with the transformation, and I don't know if it's gonna be like this in the movie because he looks different, you pretty much have to take everything apart. If you like that, then you'll like this. And if you don't, then you're not going to. <laughs> no, these are not Zord Builder compatible. Like, everything comes off. Eh. It's time for battle. Until you're left with this, and even then you're not done because the head's in here. Eh. There's a front and a back. You want this part, well, facing where the head is going. Like that. Now take his leg, which is going to look backwards, and put it in here. And now, fold it like that. Now you got his arm. And you do that twice. All right, it's already looking like something. And already they look different, right? Take the head and that actually plugs in to the back. I think that, this does go in the arm right there. Yeah, okay, I remember. You can give him that too, if you want. That can be a sword. Doesn't go very far. Take his legs off and, and his head. Eh. 
And this piece also comes off. Ah, like that. All right, not done yet. This folds out and up like that. Tail goes like that. Now take his head. That comes on the front like that. Now you take the piece that was on the bottom of him and that goes on the upper thigh, which kind of looks a little bit similar. Take the shorter legs, those come down here. Now you take the double legs, those come up here on the upper thighs. You'll see where they plug in. Go in like that. All right, that will stand up. Very similar thing now with Mastodon. Take off his first three legs and then another three legs. <laughs> and then there, now we have all eight. Okay, now his head comes off. This piece on the bottom of him comes off. This thing, which I was gonna say, maybe you could use it as a spoon, but that would be hard. Okay. <laughs> Again, same deal, that becomes his upper thigh. His head comes down here. Take the single legs, and those will come at the bottom here. Look at that, size reference. Pretty much the same as the Triceratops. This piece goes in like that. Getting there. Now we've got the saber-toothed tiger. Take this piece off. It's actually probably better to do that without the legs on. This part and this part, they slide in like this. Like this. Like that. All right, that is where we are now. This thing is almost the same size as me. Uh-huh. Okay, now these fall down and then push down on the head and that'll go like that. There's a click if you push it in hard enough. All right, now this part I don't love. He comes down like that and there's no way to hold him in place. Like there's nothing that this is actually clicking into or anything, nothing at all. And then this has already come undone. So you just kind of line it up and then there's pegs here and here. That is actually how you connect them. I really wish there was something more going on inside the chest because these come undone. He's just gonna topple, topple over. This goes over here now. Take the wings off. So you're left with this piece. Let's just uh, grab our putty. So that's how you grab him or Drop him. All right, I had to move the camera a little bit because he's enormous. Pterodactyl. Now the wings, this shape here, will go into here, right there. Ah, like that. Push it in all the way. Now we've got T-Rex's arms, which look like they can go uh, kind of in two places. Take them into the back of the wings like that. Or we can take this piece here and then uh, pick it in like that. And then he can have like these Sort of like launchers up here. I kind of like them here. And then he can have the tail, which is kind of like a sword as well. It's very big. I did it! I don't know how long he'll stay like that, but I did it. <laughs> all right, he can pose like that. The arms move all the way around. 360 without the wings. And the elbows bend. The head turns all the way around. Remember when this thing seemed big? I really like the swords individually. Uh, when it comes together, it's enormous, which is kind of fun. And I'm sure for kids, they'll, they'll probably enjoy having such a big, ridiculous thing. As a collector that likes to display things on a display shelf, it's really, really big. So kind of wondering where I'm going to put this. I really do wish that they would do like a kind of a fancier version, you know, maybe with like die cast, metallic, paint more paint, smaller. It certainly doesn't feel like it's very fancy. The Zoras are pretty hollow. It's as big as it is, it's really not that heavy, which again, is good for kids. I have seen a couple different prices on T-Rex. I think 34-ish is about what you could expect to pay for him. And then the rest of them, I think are all 19.99. You know, altogether, it's not cheap. I think this piece actually can also sort of be a weapon. So that can be a weapon as well. But anyway, today was a very good shopping day. Got all the five inch figures, at least the ones that are currently sort of in stores. Found the six pack that comes with Goldar. What do you think of the new Goldar? Oh man, that's a lot of gold. Right? <laughs> I'm a little exhausted if it's not evident, but I wanted to post something because I know a lot of people have been asking me about movie stuff, but until today, I have not been able to find much of anything. I did find these at Target in uh, Granada Hills, California. If you were to go there, you're not gonna find any of this stuff on the floor. I don't think it comes out to January 1st, if not later. So make sure you use the 
info in the description if you happen to go to Granada Hills, Target, in California. Somebody will need to get these out of the back for you. This set is $49. It comes with all five Rangers and Goldar, so six figures in the set. They're very shiny. They're, you know, it's like that Comic-Con finish and like the Dino Charge figures that they had at Walgreens. It's kind of like that. They're kind of shimmery. The regular ones are not. So if you just want them regularly painted, you want these. All right, I think I am going to end here and go to bed. I'm getting very tired. So let me know what you think of the Megazord. I'll let you know more what I think after the movie comes out, which is actually coming really soon now. You know, I, I just wish it wasn't quite so huge or that they had another version. Like, I think this could be a lot of fun. You know, for people of any age, I just wish there was Another version that was smaller. <laughs> this is really, really big. He is bigger than anything down here. Look at that. I mean, he's he's big. He's like the biggest thing ever made. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Much bigger. Give me your lunch money. Right. <laughs> and that's of course the Japanese version. Look at the size of this. The Super Train Megazord barely fits on this shelf. And he goes up to the next shelf. So just, just enormous. Like it's really hard to even show you guys. Maybe uh, Q-Rex could kind of be his pet. <laughs> There's no shelf that I can even rest him on to, to pull the camera back while I'm holding him. Like I, I can't put him down because he's a shelf and a half tall. Every single thing you see here for about 20 years worth of toys. He's bigger than every single one of these by a lot. By a lot. There's uh, Bandai Japan, Kiryujin over here. And he just keeps kind of going all up to Gokaiger and Gobusters. <laughs> so where on earth this thing is going to go, I do not know. It, it's very big. All right, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. I will always be back soon with many good videos. And good night.